Nikki of NikkiHaddock.com and Back to Basics here with you today with the next segment in our Instant Pot series. As you can see, our Instant Pot family has grown. So not only do we have the eight quart Instant Pot, we also have the three, which is gonna come in handy today in our fifth segment when we're gonna be making Weight Watchers orange chicken over rice. So let's head over to the kitchen and get started. So to start off our orange chicken, we're actually first going to get our rice cooking in the, uh, the small um, Instant Pot. So in our Instant Pot bowl, I have placed two cups of parboiled rice with two cups of water. So when you're making rice, one thing that you wanna make sure that you do is put your rice in, in your pot and run water on it and dump it out, run water on it and dump it out. Do that a few times, swish it around just to get all of the starches and dust off of it. Once you've done that a few times, then you can add in your uh, two cups of water and a little bit of salt and we're gonna pop it into our little Instant Pot and get it started. So we're, we popped our rice into our Instant Pot and we're gonna put the lid on. locked and we want to make sure that it's in the ceiling position which it is so on the small one I noticed that the venting can go to either side so we want it in the middle in the ceiling position so then we're going to push rice and then just leave it and it'll go to on and we'll just leave it till it's done now for our orange chicken we're going to start by putting in our barbecue sauce and the measurements are all in the recipe which will be below Just any darker barbecue sauce will do, whatever your favorite is. Uh, soy sauce. Just mix those together well. And then we're going to just add in our chicken. It's about four uh, chicken breasts or five to six chicken thighs, depending on what you prefer. This is thighs. Just cut into about one inch pieces. Mix that up really well. And then we're gonna take this over and pop it into our Instant Pot. Okay, we've got our chicken in the Instant Pot and now we're gonna put the lid on. And we are going to pressure cook for four minutes. It's still gonna take a little while for it to come up to pressure. But once that four minutes is up, we're gonna just release the steam automatically. First, let's make sure this is on ceiling. Yes, it is. And it's on and we'll come back when it's done and just release the steam. Okay, so our chicken has finished with its pressure cook and we need to release the steam right away. So we're just gonna push the valve towards vent. And let that release until the little button goes down. A few moments later. So the button's gone down, now we can take the lid off. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of liquid in there now. So we're going to take a quarter of a cup of the liquid in here, about a quarter of a cup, out. And we're just going to mix in two teaspoons of cornstarch. That's going to help thicken the sauce. And we're going to add that back in. With our orange marmalade for our orange chicken. that up make sure everything's nice and coated so now we're going to put the slow cooker on to saute for six minutes
just until the sauce thickens up. So our rice is shut off, and so we're just gonna flip the vent to the new vent. More moments later. Okay, so the little button's gone down. So the handle is different with this little one. You just sort of tuck your hand in here. And you can't rest the pot lid on the sides like you can with the big one, but you don't really need to. There we go. That looks good. And now that that's ready, we're just going to give it a fluff with the fork. And let it sit for a minute. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this segment on Weight Watchers uh, Orange Chicken done in the Instant Pot. You can find the recipe in the link below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the reminder bell for notifications on future segments. See you next time.